Another fifty. and try to patch up the roof. Uh, want some help? No, it's too dangerous. And besides, you need to finish your homework. Oh, uh, I am. Oh. And be careful around the studio, because the water's built up on the roof, and it's going right through the floor into the new exhibit. Why don't you get someone to fix it for you? Because we can't afford a professional to fix it right now. Look, it's almost closing time. Uh, after the last customer leaves, will you send Fish up to see me? I have to talk to him. Okay. Thanks. The young boy had the power. Take the sword, he said.
Could you call the police, please? It's okay, ma'am. I got him. Where is he? I want to chop his hand off. I don't think you need to do that, ma'am. The cops are on their way. Yes, but he'd think twice about stealing with no hands. Yeah, you're probably right, but just the same, I think we better let the police handle it. She almost got away. He ran right past you. Why didn't you try to stop him or help her? Young man, are you loopy? There are no fish here. I, I was talking to him. He said you should go to the station and fill out a report. Thank you for everything you did, young man. I can't say how much I appreciate it. Not a problem. You didn't see that guy? Why didn't you do anything? Of course not. All you're good for is just standing there. Sorry, Chris. Oh, yeah, Fish. My mom wanted you to go to... I'm happy you caught the creep, honey. I'm just saying you can't forget you're a kid and you could get hurt. Watch the floor. Tell that to the purse snatcher. Besides, what was I supposed to do? Let that retarded fish handle him? He was too scared to move. He's not retarded, Chris. He's just shy. And you, young man, need to learn to be more tolerant. Where is fish, anyway? Did you tell him I wanted to meet him? He did that thing again. That disappearing thing? Exactly. How does he do that? He really bugs me sometimes, Mom. I'm always wondering what he's thinking or if he's thinking. But I think he's a waste of money. We pay a guy to stand still. We've got wax that does that. Yeah, but not like fish. Anyway, it doesn't matter how good a job he does if he can't make payroll. So, uh, would you do me a favor? I made up another batch of anti-casino flyers. Would you take them around the neighborhood and put them up? No problem, old mom. We'll save the world one block at a time. partner.
see it high noon, boys. Morgen, Professor. <laughs> Mrs. Matherson? <laughs> oh, Bobby, you scared me. You gotta stop doing that. Chris said you wanted to see me. Yeah. Bobby. Bobby, you know that things haven't been going very well with this lawsuit to stop that creep Van Zul from tearing this place down and putting up that stupid casino. I don't know anything about it. Well, come on, you have to. You could lose your job. I could lose this business. All these beautiful old buildings, the whole neighborhood, it could all be ruined. Why would anyone want to tear down this place? Exactly. So, tomorrow, I'm going up to the Capitol to meet a new group of attorneys. They're very practiced at fighting this kind of thing, and... Unfortunately, they're also... Twice as expensive as the ones I have now, so... Uh, the thing is, Bobby, that... Uh, I have to cut you back to two days a week. The legal fees are killing me. But when we win... If we win, and, and I can pay off all the debts, I'll put you right back up to six. That's okay. I'll work anyway. You know, Bobby, do you hear what I'm saying? I, I can't pay you. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Listen, uh, things are slow today, and I know it's not part of your job description, but would you mind helping me with old Cratchit here? I shouldn't. Why not? I don't want to break anything. Oh, don't worry, you won't. Okay. Accident, honey. Uh, but is the statue okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're both just fine. Huh? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. What was it you wanted? Well, the creep is here to see you. Well, what does he want now? Uh, I don't know, but he's upstairs waiting for you. Okay. I'm gonna go deal with Vansel and you come in here and help Bobby with the display. Uh, but I didn't do it. Chris. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Nice hole. Should I have my attorney present? Jennifer. I have come here one last time to appeal to your common sense. Now, let me buy you out. I'm doubling my last offer. And I will provide adequate space in the casino at a reasonable rent. Forget it. Jennifer, you're being a fool. Well, maybe I am. But I love this building. 
And I care about this neighborhood. Well, I care too. I want to create new jobs, opportunities, improve the community. <laughs> improve the community? With gambling? By tearing down beautiful old landmarks and displacing people from their homes? Mr. Vincent, my family has owned this museum since 1926. We are not giving it up without a fight. Jennifer, you are a fool. Everyone else around here has already left. Yeah, because you scared them out. If you haven't noticed, Mr. Venzel, we are not afraid of you. Now take your feet down. Jennifer, you are being sentimental. And I know that the cost of all this is going to break you. Well, maybe it will. But I promise you this, I will tie you up in court for so long, you will be in an old folks home in Florida before you ever get your hands on this place. See you in court. Can't wait. How'd it go? As I expected. She's an idiot. So we resort to plan B, which is fine. It presents certain liabilities, but uh, it's actually quite a bit cheaper, and we get construction going a lot quicker. So you called in Greg? Of course. When do we meet? We don't. He'll be dealing directly with me. But I thought you said... You just go back to your office, and I'll call you when I need you. All right. Mm. Can he be trusted? He checks out. His gambling debts are so high, he has no choice but to swear absolute loyalty to me. <laughs> wow. So we're on. As soon as possible, I want you to reduce this place to ashes. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> you are an artist. And destruction is your canvas, Gregor. Ah, no names, please. I've only gotten where I am today by keeping my identity totally secret. And on that rare occasion when the wrong person was able to identify me, they would simply disappear. Go away, we're talking. Am I not making myself clear? Go away. <laughs> So, where were we then? Um, disappear. Right. Then we understand each other. Completely. When? When the time is right, Mr. Wenzel. You'll know when it happens. And don't worry, I guarantee it. Problem. This is a big problem. Yeah, for him. Hey, Fish, what's going on? I still can't believe you did it. 
I still can't believe I saw him run. Oh, I wish he had a phone. I hope he's all right. He'll turn up. He's gonna miss his friends and dummies way too much not to. Chris. Now, you run over to his place tomorrow and check on him. Oh, that ought to be fun. Well, I'm leaving first thing in the morning, so I'll stick my head in and wake you up. Oh, yeah, and, uh, Grandpa's gonna come and stay and keep an eye on you. Oh, Mom, I don't need anyone to keep an eye on me. I can take care of myself. And even if I did, Grandpa's not exactly the man for the job. Well, you need to spend more time with him anyway. And that look does not work with me. There he is. Will you go help him with the stairs, please? Hi, Grandpa. How's it going? <laughs> is your cable working? <laughs> What's with the hole? Oh, a little accident. I'm leaving. Time to wake up. Mm. You awake? Mm -hmm. Now, are you gonna get it up? Mm -hmm. Okay. I should be back on Saturday. Good. What are you doing here? I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what you should do. You shouldn't be sneaking up on people like that. You're gonna kill someone one of these days. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? I'm in trouble. What kind of trouble? The, the bad kind. Are you using the bathroom? No. Then why don't you come out here so we can talk? There are no windows in here. Oh, come on, fish. I don't have time for this. I have things to do. 
Some men are gonna burn down the museum and make me disappear. What? And then I just ran. Why didn't you go to the police? Well, I wanted to tell Mrs. Matherson, but when I couldn't find her, I, I came to see you. My mom's gone away for a couple of days. But you still should have gone to the police first. Well, I wanted your mom to go with me. They believe her. They won't believe me. Sure they will. No, they won't. No, people think I'm weird. Stupid. Okay. We'll go together. So our friend Kurt has failed? That's ah, mere inconvenience. I'll take care of it myself. It'll work right into our plan. You'll see. You'll be very happy. <laughs> Nothing escapes me. Nothing. Boy, I wish they would hurry up. I'll be all grown up by the time they get here. <laughs> Mad fish, you're full of surprises. You can run, you can laugh. Whoa, you can draw. And I can write when I have to. No, I, I mean you can really draw. I was just trying to remember what, what those guys looked like. This is the guy that broke into my apartment. Saw him in the museum, too. Really? It's hard to remember, but... I think it looks like him. Cool. The cops can put an APB out on this guy and bust him. Why don't you start drawing the Gregor guy and I'll... What? What? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man, fish, he's a cop. Oh, Chris, what are we gonna do? This guy is so rich and so creepy. He's probably got the whole apartment paid off. We gotta get out of here. Okay, we're gonna walk out of here. Try to act normal. Okay, the thing to remember is that nobody knows that I know all this yet. I think we should split up and meet back at your place and decide what to do next. So if one of us is caught, well, the other one can try to get to the FBI or somebody. That's a good idea. I want to go home first, see if I can get a hold of Mom. She should be there by now. Don't worry, Fish, we're going to make it.
Grandpa, wake up. Grandpa! I'm awake. Has Mom called? Who? Mom. Your mother went out of town. I know, I... This is Joni speaking. Can I have Jennifer Matherson's room, please? One minute, please. There's no answer. I'm sorry. Well, can I leave a message, please? You could call back. I'd really like to leave it now, if it's not too much trouble. I'm ready. Okay, this is her son, Chris. Tell her... Tell her that Benzel is hired some kind of a goon to burn down the museum using some kind of a bomb. Is this Glenn? What? I know it's you. I'm going with Randy now. But my name is Chris. <laughs> sure, you think I'm stupid? What are you talking about? My mom's just there in your hotel. You think I'd come back to you because of a bomb threat? I have to go now. I'm very busy. To think I was looking forward to dating. Grandpa, if mom calls, time gone with fish, okay? Okay. I hope you catch some. <laughs> we'll fry them up for dinner. Man, Mr. Fish, gas man, gas man. Christmas, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, come on. Wake up! Hey, come on! Whoa! There you are, huh? Huh, it's me. <laughs> you remember me? I knew you were there. <laughs> Nothing escapes me. Nothing! Now, I'm gonna ask you. Who were you waiting for? Huh? Nobody. Excellent. Very well balanced. Huh? Now, I'm going to ask you again. Who were you waiting for? A taxi. A taxi? A taxi? Huh? You expect me to believe that, Mr. Statue Man? Huh? A taxi? Now, you're going to stop lying. A taxi? Yes. Yes. I'm going away. You're going away. Oh. All right. You're either a very brave man, or you're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. You are? Yes, I'm telling. <laughs> you, 
You're right. <laughs> you are going away. With me. Huh? With me. You're going away. You've reached the Matherson's residence. My mom and I are out right now, so please leave a message after the beep. Dad! Dad, wake up! All right, Jenny. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, Kenny. It's for you, Jenny. No, Dad, I'm here on the phone. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Listen, is Chris there? Oh, he's gone fishing. With what? With a friend. Said we'd fry them all up when he gets back. Oh, well, will you ask him to call me when he gets in? How would it be if I told him to give you a call when he gets back? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Love you, bye. <sighs> fishing. Well, you should feel flattered. I very rarely entertain. Hmm? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Caviar! Caviar. 
you know? You can't get good caviar in this country. I had to have this shipped in from Russia. Hmm? $300 an ounce. What do you think? Mm hmm? Uh, hmm? Mm. Would you like to try some? It might improve your taste. Oh, you can't eat? Let me get that for you. Hey, go ahead. Give it a try. No, thank you. Never had it before. Go ahead. Besides, it's very filling. Uh -uh. It's good for your skin. Oh, <laughs> huh? no, I don't like that. It's good, huh? Oh, uh, uh, Another one, perhaps? Um, no. Would you like some more? No, it's salty. You said you were hungry. Uh, it's salty. It's salty? Of course it's salty. It's caviar. What is that? Caviar's fish egg, statue man. Oh. You have no taste. You have no culture. Of course, I wouldn't share with you one of my delicious chocolates in that case. Look, a star. My favorite. <laughs> ah, you're vulgar and tasteless. <laughs> so? I leave you to your hunger and ignorance. Oh, and I must tell you about eating caviar. It makes you very thirsty. <laughs> I'm very thirsty. <laughs> I am thirsty. Well, listen. If there's anything you need, oh, oh. I'll be taking a shower. starving. <laughs> oh, they're delicious. Yes, they're very expensive. Hey, Fish, do you think we could pick up the pace a little? I know he's only on foot, but I think at this rate he may be able to catch us. Uh, the speed limit is 35. This is an emergency. I'm not comfortable driving fast. 
Let's face it, Fish, the only time you're comfortable is when you're not moving at all. Look, I didn't mean to, you know, it's just... I wish sometimes you'd just do something. Look, when you see a phone, stop, okay? Okay, Chris. What do you think? It's definitely breaking the speed limit. No, I mean, do you think it's Gregor? I, I can't tell. Well, speed up. Oh, man, he's flying. That make me very nervous. For once, Fish, I have to agree with you. I think he's unconscious. to drive. Fish, you gotta admit that was cool. Okay, all that's left to do is find civilization, a phone, call the FBI, and get those guys in jail. He could be hurt back there. Or worse. Excuse me, that guy Gregor was trying to kill you, if you haven't noticed. I notice things, Chris. More than most people. Well, you have to notice a little louder and then do something about it. Look, I'm sorry. It's just that, uh, you know, it's... No, I'm sorry, Chris. We're never doing the right thing. You do the right thing, sometimes. Like back there. You're the one who got out to see if that guy was really hurt. You didn't know it was Gregor. Until he hit me. He told me not to, and I didn't listen. Should have just stayed still. When I move, bad things happen. Well, sure, that time. But not every time. You did the right thing. You were brave. No, I wasn't. I was scared. I was scared he was hurt. Oh, he might have been. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Don't worry, Fish. We'll get out of this. I promise. Oh. 
What's going on? I don't know. Something's wrong. I know that. What? I don't know. Uh. Oh, that was really scary. You said it. We blew out a tire. I think I was driving too fast. I can honestly say that didn't do it. So what now? Well, there's no spare. And then we walk. Well, not on this road. If Gregor gets it together, he can be coming down this road any minute. I think we should find a safe place to hide for the night. How about the woods? Great minds, Fish. What are you looking for? One thing about arsonists. They always have fire. Anyone will see this? I really don't care. I'm too hungry. Chocolate? No, thanks. You have it. I'm just gonna sit here and dream of my mom's lasagna. All I had tonight was fish eggs. Oh, where did you eat that? Gregor's. Why did he give you fish eggs? He's evil. Uh, I guess we should turn in. Hopefully it'll burn till sunrise. Love home until you're away from it. Fish? Yes. Why do you like to stand still? I mean, how do you do it? I can't stand still for two seconds. None of my business. Good night, fish. The first thing I remember is my mother. And my father. And the sound. saying, don't move, Roberto. Don't even breathe. That's it, Roberto. Stand very still. You are a block of stone. Your life depends on it, my darling. Darling, you can move now. Gosh, I would have been scared to move too. 
So that was your job the whole time in the circus? It got worse. My father wanted me to learn how to throw the knives. I just didn't want to. I just wanted to sit still and draw pictures. He could be the best in the world. He doesn't want that. He's afraid. He's not suited for it. What suited? It's in his blood. His inheritance. You must consider his feelings. I am his father. He inherited his talent from me, and he will learn how to throw knives. So you became a knife thrower? No, I, I didn't like it. Yeah, I would have loved to have done it. Well, not if you knew what it was like to have the knives thrown at you. I see your point. So what did you do? When I was old enough, I left the circus. You miss it? Well, I miss my friends sometimes. I had friends then. Baltar, the flame eater, and, and Rhonda, the snake charmer. My favorite was was Ching Li. Ching Li? What did he do? He was an escape artist. No lock could hold him. Whoa. How about your folks? They retired a couple of years ago. They took the trailer and moved down to a place in Florida. Do you talk to them? I call my mother sometimes. My father's still pretty angry with me. Can I give you some advice, Fish? Call your dad. Because if there was a phone to heaven, I would call mine every day. Fish, where are you? Fish! 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 Yes? <gasps> Sorry. You hate that. Oh, it's scary. How do you do it? I don't do anything. Well, sure you do. Just appear, disappear. Well, it seems to me that people just aren't paying attention. Come on, let's find a way out of here.
way to go? I don't. I just know which way not to. Watch out, there's poison ivy everywhere. Is that poison ivy? Yeah. Is that poison ivy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can we rest for a while? I don't think Gregory can catch us now. Well, it's a good thing you don't sing for a living or you'd be out of a job. <laughs> Reach for the sky. There's poison ivy all over that hill. You don't expect me to fall for that old trick, do you? It's very slippery on the slope. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> I should. That, that, that's not ours, Chris. It's no time to stand still, fish. Get in. But Chris, I, I just, I don't. Uh, no. Get in.
time for this. We don't have time for this. Time for this. Oh, oh yeah, come on. There we go, baby. Come on. Jeez, I need some bragging rights. Come on, give it up. Oh, this is a truck. Oh, jeez. Oh. You okay, buddy? Uh, fine, thank you. How are you? What are you, what are you doing in here? Uh, holding my breath. Why didn't you tell me you couldn't swim? I don't think it's a good idea that you can swim. Please, come with me. <laughs> don't you want to know what's so funny? No, I don't. <laughs> I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> you know, for a fish, your friend is a lousy swimmer. <laughs> and the last I saw of Chris, he was on a riverbank. Just hope he got away from Gregor. Wow. That's a heck of a story, friend. Just wish I knew how it ended. Well, that's easy. You stop him. No, I can't. Well, not without Chris. Well, you don't understand. You're right, I don't. Look, with or without Chris, your friends are in trouble. That Gregor fellow, he's probably got the boy by now, so you can't go to the police. You're their only hope. Even if I knew what to do, I wouldn't know where to start. Sure you do. You know what their plan is. They're gonna destroy the museum. Now, sooner or later, they gotta go back there, right? Yeah. Now, this Gregor fellow, no one's seen him. There's no pictures of him. No one knows what he looks like. It's up to you. Nobody has a picture of him. You're right. I've been standing still all my life, being afraid and hiding, hiding in my own body. Uh, I gotta do something. I gotta move. Do you have a car? All sport utility, four wheel drive, top of the line. Could I trouble you for a ride? Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Fish, it's it's this way. Let's go! Fish. A fish? You know, I never shot a child before. Not because I was afraid to, but because I just never had the opportunity. So, I'm in a hurry. I don't want to stop, but if you insist, I will stop and take the opportunity, huh? Hmm? Hey. That's better. Where are you taking me? <laughs> well, yes, well, because I'm so stupid, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah? <laughs> I think you clothes suck. You know, if I was your parent, I'd take you out and beat you within an inch of your life. If I was your child, I'd go swimming with cement shoes. Oh, I could 
gonna reach that. That can be arranged. Yes, thank you. Come <laughs> on! I'm coming, fish. I'm coming. Come on! That poison ivy's the worst, huh? Have you ever noticed how, if you don't think about poison ivy, it doesn't hurt as much? Oh, then you start to think about it, or someone mentions it to you, and then it starts to itch like crazy? Shut up. What I hate is when it gets infected, and then pus starts dripping out. The bad thing is, is it still itches. You can't scratch yourself because it's so painful. Yeah, you know, this poison ivy is an annoyance, but it will go away. Unlike what's going to happen to you, which lasts forever. <laughs> may I ask what that might be? No, you may not ask. You may shut up. Yes. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, me. Yeah, the fish drowned. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah. No, oh, no, the smaller package we were looking for is with me. Thinking of cooking it over an open flame. Hey! That's wonderful news. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Call your uh, specialist and have him prepare a reception. Hmm? Bye. Suck. Sticks and bones, my boy. Sticks and bones. Sticks and stones, Euro trash. Euro trash? Euro trash? Kurt, I want you to come to the warehouse right away. I said now. going on? I thought we were supposed to meet at midnight. Change of plans. Gregor had to move up the entire operation. What do you mean, move it up? Well, he got rid of the statue guy, but Jennifer's son got in the way as well. So Gregor had to improvise, but I think we'll all be happy with the Herman Wenzel? You're under arrest. What? What do you mean, under arrest? <laughs> do you mean... You've just been had. No, it's a shame. Kid like you smoking cigarettes. I don't smoke. Smoking sucks. Of course you do. You just didn't know about the gas leak. <laughs> you were hiding out down here, smoking a cigarette, and boom, 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 boom. You think my mom won't really know what happened? Mm, your mom? Let her prove it. Hm? Besides, that's not my concern. That's a problem for your friend, Mr. Wenzel. With you gone, no one knows what I look like. And I will be a hemisphere away. <laughs> this usually takes about two, 12, maybe 15 minutes. Hmm? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, you 
units. This is Special Agent Johnson. They've moved the whole thing up. Repeat, they've moved the whole thing up. All units converge in the museum now. My ETA, two, three minutes. No one is to go in without my authorization. All units respond. You surprised me. Uh, perhaps I underestimated you? Hmm? <laughs> but here you are. I got you. Just like I did the boy. What have you done with Chris? Technically nothing yet. But let's talk about us, shall we? <laughs> the first problem, as I see it, is how are we going to prudently dispose of your body? That is, after your death. Where's Chris? If I told you, it would take all the fun out of it. And I really think, Mr. Fish, you ought to be worrying about yourself. I haven't done this in a while. Maybe I'm a bit rusty. Maybe you should step a little closer. Wouldn't that be cheating? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'd like that. Thank you, Mr. Fish. I think I will. And they'll force you into telling them where Chris is. Be too late for the boy, then. What do you mean? Just what I said. If you don't find him, and soon, there'll be nothing of him left when you do. Let me out. No, that's a trick. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It isn't. I don't believe you. Fish. What? Let me out. No! I will tell you where the boy is. I don't believe you! I give you my word. Your word? My word. Hey, tell me where he is. Hey, 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 answer me. No. You gave me your word. <laughs> I'm a career criminal, you idiot. My word means nothing. I'm God. Let's do this quickly. Time for 
this fillet. Fish kebab. Sushi. Shoot! A fish who can't swim? <laughs> what chance do you think you really have, eh? <laughs> Good, but the boy is in the basement. Au revoir, Mr. Fish. Uh, sorry. Chris! Chris, are you here? Chris, wake up, wake up. We gotta get you out of here. Come on, wake up, wake up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Sometimes a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> well, well, you a lot, Bobby. I just wish that we would have talked that night at your apartment. Would have avoided all this trouble. Well, to tell you the truth, Detective, I'm kind of glad things happened the way they did. <laughs> well, there's one thing I would have changed. I'm sorry. So you should be happy with the reward. Reward? A reward? Yeah, the reward for getting Gregor. Oh, man. I just wish Mom was here to watch Venzel's whole plan fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> Venzel. I forgot Venzel. Kurt! Kurt, you rotten liar! Kurt! You can't leave! Kurt! Kurt! Kurt, I have to go to the bathroom! Well, Bobby, hurry back. We can't get along without you. Yeah, Fish, another internationally notorious criminal may show up. You don't want me to have to handle him by myself, do you? I'll only be gone a couple of days, I promise. Here. It's a present. For both of you. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. See you in a week. Hey, Fish. Yeah? Say hello to your dad for me. I will. You know it's 
not so right to keep out of sight. Find your dreams and live your life. Cause if you don't, you're gonna pay the price. Like a fish out of water. You've got the chance to make it right in your life. You've got your friends behind you, and it's gotta be right. Out of 